So you've returned. Good day, supersonic sidequesters. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. It's episode 63 of TSL. Thanks for tuning in. 63, also the number that uh, Ron Fellows ran when he was running Corvette at Le Mans. There's our little racing reference to kick it off. Because uh, Sebring would have been this past weekend. Maybe it's next weekend. 12 hours of Sebring. As well as, I guess, the uh, WEC thousand miles of Sebring. Whatever they're doing. Anyway, yes, hi, more KOTOR 2. We're still on uh, Citadel Station above Tilos. Last time out, we uh, cleared up a little bit of uh, Lieutenant Grin's problems. We, uh, well, I was going to say we rescued... Uh, what was that Twilight Dancing Girl's name? I've already forgotten. Uh, but we rescued her. Well, we kind of. We got her back from the other guy's indentured servitude, but she didn't want to go back to her boyfriend, so we just let her do her thing and make money as a... As a burlesque dancer. And uh, now we're uh, following up on Batu Rem because we figured out where he came through. What is it? Yeah, I have some information about Batu Rem. The real Batu Rem or the assassin Batu Rem? Yes. No, wait, that's not an answer he's looking for. Uh, the assassin? We know he came from Nar Shada. So I, I w want to see if. This is, I was half expecting this intro to be scrapped and just like as we're leaving Telos, I was going to have to pick up and do the intro there, but I guess, no, this this, this is going to stick. Uh, the assassin, I think, because we found out that he arrived on a shuttle from Narshda, so. Oh, what is it? He arrived from Narshda. I just said it, Gren. Come on, pay attention. Docking Bay 3. More suspicious activity from Zerka's private dock. If only we had something more concrete, I could launch a full-scale investigation. But Narshada? Sounds like you've made some powerful enemies. Here's the reward for the information. And if you find out anything else about Batu, real or fake, let me know. Okay. Heavy Bonded Plates Mark Three, which I'm guessing is a mod that we can... We can workbench onto some armor. What have we got up here? Active quests and... Oh! I forgot to unplug my controller. Oh well. Sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, so Gren's found out... Uh, told Gren what you found out about the assassin disguised as Batu Rem. Okay. Well, that was a thing. You do have some more side quests to do, as you saw from... No, back to this. So, Onderon, we're waiting on, Onderon, we're waiting on, Battle Circle, I don't think it's happening, and then you got the two Narshada quests. Mostly that one. Now, of course, that is also discounting the possibility that... There's someone else down there? Oh, just someone walking. Um, that does discount the possibility that... We don't have a scene here last time out when we... Right back to Narshada, not Narshada, Telos. We had a scene back with Atris and some of her handmaidens. Now the question is, I'm half expecting... No, oh, okay. Interesting. I think I'm half expecting... No, locked. Ah, she's smart, she won't let us in. Um... I knew I hadn't been through there. And I was half expecting a scene with some of Atrus's handmaidens here. And we have been to storage before, right? Oh yeah, the body's moved. I think there was a body there last time we were through here. Alright, all aboard the Hawk. Or not. Okay, I thought that was going to be another scene. Um... I'm waiting for this scene. Like, there's got to be some follow-up. Like, something's going to happen when we take off or something. Because I get the feeling that scene with uh, the handmaiden, handmaidens, and Atris, I feel as though that isn't exactly, you know, like, um... I, I feel as though something's going to come and come of that, so it's not like... You know what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm not... Time just changed, I... Got up early to do a goddamn driveway this morning. Give me a break, I'm tired. 
Doesn't quite snow day worthy, but hey, we're not too far off either. No, um, they are, uh, yeah, there's got to be something with that scene. I, it's just a matter of what. And saying it isn't just going to be there and never get followed up on. But I did want to go back to Narshda. Let's, uh, punch it. Nothing here yet. Okay. Interesting. Maybe that's just the scene that's playing the long game. It's going to pay off. Later, maybe after we've... Yeah, because we were trying to gather... All of the Jedi Masters. Atris excluded so far. Yeah, okay. Weird. That was just like, go, go, go. Back to our uh, old haunt of Narshada. Everybody else is sticking to the traffic lanes. We're just all over the goddamn place. Atten just does not care for your traffic rules. Okay, interesting detail I missed the first time. The window for the part shop and the balcony for the uh, pot racing shop place. Ask and ye shall receive. Has there been any word of her? None yet. I do not understand why she displays such disobedience. You know why. She bears the face of her mother. She shames us all. She has always brought shame upon us. In terms of combat, she is the least among us. Her stance always had too much passion about it. Perhaps it is better that our sister chose exile rather than having it forced upon her. You guys saw Atten stretching there, right? No, okay, so that was, that was interesting. Apparently, uh, just because they're family doesn't mean that they're, uh, particularly fond of each other. Atrus's handmaidens. And again, they bring up that, uh, the handmaiden has a different mother to the rest of them. So that's something else, and... I, I assume, like, you almost feel as if it's building up to a fight, like, at some point. If she was the last of the handmaidens and she was the worst fighter of the bunch, you feel as though the handmaiden, at least one of her sisters, is going to throw down at some point. You feel as though it's teasing that. All right, Narshida, so you gotta bring Atten along. And... And, oh, see, now we're back to this picture again. Eh, we could bring Mandalore along. Yeah, let's go. I'm sure these two will get along famously. I mean, after all, you had, uh, our boy, uh, Beodur and Mandalore getting along famously as well. So where do we want to go? Hmm. Oh yeah, the entertainment district. Right, right, right. Hello, you. Because we are looking for the, uh... What's his face? The, um... The champ! John Cena. That's who we're looking for. Or we can always stop by the... You know, stop by the cantina. This is very quiet in here. There's nothing there. I guess we've cleaned up all... Last time we were here, weren't people... Oh no, there was dancing happening. I was gonna say, last time we were in here, weren't people getting shot? Mm, guess not. Well, I mean, Atten was shooting people. And they still weren't dead. Oh yeah, my friend, uh, what's his face? Kalana's still here. Come back again, give creds this time! My friend Kalana is a Chadra fan, in case you have forgotten. Uh, Kalana won't see many things now, much less things. Not allowed in Pazak then, not allowed in Bar. Kala see more, have much to tell. Why aren't you allowed? I think we've asked this, but... 
Mm, let's see. Uh, yeah, see too many cards. Yeah, I was gonna say. See too much. I's too good. If customers don't see Kala, then they talk freely. If customers no see. Oh yeah. So this is the part where they tell you use stealth mode to eavesdrop on them, and we eavesdropped on them so we could figure out how to um, how to put the cat hounds belong to. Um, What's the damn hut's name? I forget the damn hut's name. I don't even think it's really that important. Good, I wasn't going to give you a choice. Just slide right in. I like the... Uh, Almost straight out of Twin Peaks music that they use for this as well. So, uh, here's our buddy the champ. You gotta beat him three times consecutively in order to win, in order to defeat him. Hello, big stuff. You play Pazak now? Uh, let's, uh, let's go. Can I go down a bit? I've got a lot of credits. That's the other thing. That's the one thing about this, and I don't know whether this is just something that they did because, look, we're doing it for probably Xbox, PS2, and I don't know if this would have been on the GameCube or not. It would be hypothetically possible. But we don't have let you use your keyboard because let's just it's easier to just not factor that in. Well, I say that, and then they would have had it for... I say that, and they would have had it for the the names. So, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's good old reliable side deck, so. Oh, kiss my ass. What a start. 16, no, we don't have a plus four and all that. And we don't even have a plus one. We do have a minus four we could draw with, but who gives a shit at this? It's one. It's one. Who the hell has a ten sitting in their side? Just ran randomly, air quotes. Air quotes around that randomly, guys. Okay, I'm getting annoyed. Oh, God, I'm out 200. It's a good thing I turned down... It's a good thing I turned down the cash. All right. Just play the two. Okay, that's it. Episode's over. I'm going home now. <laughs> what the f***? Okay. 24. Okay, we can play that down. Well, yeah, I mean, we had to play that down because we couldn't afford anything else. Right? Because we're on... We're on match point. It was triple match point. Or double match point. Double match point. If I might invoke a little tennis. Eh, screw it. Make a make the first move, Conway. So. Oh. Let's play that. See if it works. What? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, he busted! <laughs> I saw that, I saw that drop and I was like, ah, oh, son of a bitch, he's got me. He's got me on the, um, he, he's got me on the nine. No, no, no. Oh, boy. Okay, I had a Kleenex in hand because my nose has been running like a tap. And it's like... I threw it, and because it's a Kleenex, it just drifted up in the air and floated down. I have no idea where it went now. It, it's probably under my chair. All right. Anyway, yes, that's one. No more. Champ lose no more. Take this golden card and don't come back. Oh, is that I just got to beat him three times in total, or? Journal entry added. Credits received 250. And Pazak card tiebreaker. Wait, seriously? That was it? You defeated the chip. I built an entire episode around this. <laughs> Figuring this would take the entire thing. Hey! 
that was an epic comeback. Let's go, pos let's uh, drop an old like for that comeback. Coming from back from down double match point to trounce the champ in three straight hands. No more, champ lose no more. You ain't the champ no more, give me the goddamn belt. Give me the belt. Preferably the one made of wood with a uh, sustainable hemp, you know, band and all that, you know, new Daniel Bryan stuff. It's a snazzy looking belt, you have to admit. Okay. Now what? Um, hmm. If you were looking for... Back to here. If you were looking for something Abatu Rem, you would be looking... Probably... Oh yes, we've got... You know, we got to see if we can't clean that up since I've... I, I don't intend to help them. Uh, no. The refugee sector is that way. Since I don't intend to help them... What I could always do is just tell them no, and with these boys, I'll get a a decent, uh, I should get, anyway, a, a decent uh, dark side bonus and influence, of course. Mandalore, of all people, would appreciate, you know, requiring someone to basically be forced into indentured servitude in order to get a lift. After all, that's what he did to me. You guys just stand around in the middle of a, a three-way like that? Oh, he's not there. There was a dude there. Now, if I just remember... It wasn't Husef, it was... Did it say who it was? Uh, seeking Passage, Karana. So, oh, her. That was quick. Did you find us a pilot yet? Nah, uh, I have no idea who you are. You filthy liar. Really? I got nothing for that? Come on. I was going to say, I remember talking to you at one point. This was... Now, there was the... Ah, this was it. I was going to say, there's the secret way through to the other side that nobody found. Mm. The refugees seem to have invaded the... This side of the show. Oh, airspeeder. Oh, right! It's been sabotaged beyond repair. Bastards! So we uh, kind of finished up everything on our Dalin, I guess. Serico thugs, air spear, refugee commons, exchange headquarters, refugee landing pad. Okay. Um. I guess that. Uh... Okay. I mean, whatever works. Well, alright. We can always try and think if there's anything I'm missing. That was. Just pull up the comments from the last video real fast. Or no, it would have been two videos ago. Eh, close enough. <laughs> I feel as though there was something in the comments from that video a couple weeks ago that I'm forgetting. Fill in that part of the map, otherwise it's going to drive me nuts. I have a mild case of OCD in case nobody's noticed. And the one's in that compartment on Nar Shadar. Oh, I know what he's talking about. Sorry, all Hughes comment. I was like, I know. Ah, oh, crap. Now here I am running around not paying attention. Ollie types, uh. Nar should I like I say idea. In case you have if in case you have caught me saying idea as idea. Friend of mine gives me a hard time for saying it that way. That's what I get for watching way too much Orange County Chop or uh, not yeah, it's Orange County Choppers. 
That's not what I'm thinking of. Uh, well, I mean, it is what I'm thinking of, but... But it's, um... American Chopper, that's the show. I was trying to think, what's the name of the show? I know the name of the bike place, but I don't know the name of the damn show. It's American Chopper. Which I've uh, found recently on uh, Motor Trend On Demand. I don't pay for many subscription services, but uh, Motor Trend On Demand is one of them. So I was watching some of that, some of the episodes of that there. Unfortunately, they're missing a gap in the junior versus senior years. So, oh well. Found the damn Kleenex. It floated up. I thought it floated under my chair. No, it floated onto the back of the arm of the chair. So, in behind me, nowhere where I would think to look. Okay. In case anybody was particularly concerned about flying tissue paper. It's not tissue papers. They call facial tissues, right? It's just funny how, like, kind of like with Band-Aid, you know, it's Kleenex is just the brand name is the name of the product now. Like, for everyone. It's not no-name facial tissues, it's like no-name Kleenex. It's, it's just what you think. All right. In the compartment, I, I know it's there. That's where I'm, that's where we're looking. Oh, and there's our friend, totally not Watto. Sporting the FSO2 Watto hat. And there's your stealth guys. Oh, right, this door. Let's see how this goes. Another Mandalorian. You're welcome to join us. Our clan has traveled here in search of work. And if we find a working arrangement, then I'm sure you could be included in. I'm not here for any mercenary work. I'm here to return your clan to Duxon, where I am restoring our people to their former glory. Mandalore? But after Revan defeated Mandalore, no new one was chosen. I intend to rectify that error. I have no doubt that you believe that you are Mandalore. But look at the situation we are in now. Anyone could buy a helmet from a swoop track and make such a claim. And the last time Mandalore traveled in the company of non-Mandalorians, we were pledged to Exar Kun. Mm-hmm. I am no Exar Kun. I'm a Jedi and have allied myself with Mandalore. I am a Jedi, so I went to Mandalore's service. Ah. Let's just go with the first one. A Jedi? Perhaps you are deserving of the title of Mandalore. I heard rumors from Isis about Mandalorian sightings on Duxon. So perhaps there is truth to what you say. Very well, Mandalore. My clan will follow you and make for Duxon. So that another clan might be added to the strength of your army. Excuse us. We must gather the rest of our clan and deliver them the news. Watch you just you you could say excuse me. Influence gate Mandalore. Very good. Oh my god, they vanished! Who knew that Mandalorians had force abilities? No, uh I kinda figured that was going to if you're going to do that, you may as well get a little bit of influence. Some guys I knew in high school had a band called that, I want to say. No idea if they were KOTOR fans or if they were just looking for something that sounded like... ...punk pop edgy sounding. I, I mean, let's face it, you could... ...name a band whatever the hell you want, so... Squaring up to fight a shadow. There you go. Show that shadow who's boss. I was gonna say you're... Think of it this way. You're Amanda Nunez and the shadow is... Anyone Amanda Nunez goes up against. I was gonna say, I was trying to think of some dominant UFC fighter. It's like, you can't say John Jones. Without uh, also saying, like, cocaine or gas station dick pills in the same sentence. What's gas station dick pills he got? He claimed it was for? No, that was Anderson. That was Anderson Silva. That Right? This might need, like, a caption. This might need, like, a clarification at the bottom of the screen to figure out what the hell I'm thinking of. There we go. Alright, just everyone, just, just on, on the ship. Oh, 
Again, nothing. I don't like that flicker. It's making me think it's glitching out and not showing scenes. I mean, it's possible that it's glitching out and not showing scenes. But it's also possible that it's just like, okay, in the event that I have to show a scene, I'm going to go into the fade and play the scene. And since there's none, it just fades right back up. Maybe? I don't know. Let's look at that comment from the other day. So we want to fly off to Dantooine because there's more Mandalorians here. We've already done this takeoff scene properly, unlike, uh... Unlike our last trip to Telos, where we had to take off from the planet with the Ebon Hawk. At least with this one, we've done that takeoff scene before. Have we? Yeah. Moon off to the left there. I mean, makes sense. Most planets have some orbiting body. All right. We can hop off. Oops. As long as we don't get caught on the scenery. Right, Honhar? Yeah, what he said. Now, the question is... Uh, we want to bring Mandalore along, yes, because there's supposed to be more dudes here. Question... Yeah, let's bring Atten along as well. Trying to bolster... We just need a little more influence with the old man. I would have figured... That... Taking down the champ in a game of Pazak would have gained influence with Atten. I mean, just logically, right? Because... Atten is always going on about Pazak. But, you know, the one time we actually, you know, do something that involves, you know, being good at Pazak, he doesn't seem particularly arsed. I want to say, not the Crystal Cave, not the Crash Site, so I assume we're going off this way to the Enclave Courtyard. I don't think there was anything that required me to go back into the Conclave, I mean, or Enclave, not the Conclave. Sorry, I've been playing uh, too much StarCraft, so Conclave is on the mind. StarCraft on uh, Thursday, Friday. We're on to Brood War right now. Still on the, I guess, well, not still. The last campaign of StarCraft 1 is, is the Protoss, and as is the first campaign of the Brood War expansion. So that's, uh, that's where we're at. We're in the middle of the more Protoss missions. Ah, yes, you guys. Yeah, I remembered you guys were somewhere. Hello, I've brought you your leader. Look who's walked into our camp, boys. Mandalore himself has come to visit us. I am the new Mandalore. I have reclaimed Mandalore's helmet, lost after our defeat at Revan's hands. Assemble the rest of your clan. You will return to Duxon. We must come together as we were before and prepare to fight a new war. A war that will return us to glory. And if I take that helmet from you, guess that makes me the new Mandalore. I've always wanted to be called that. I know all about your exploits, Mandalore. We have fallen far in the past years, but even still, I will not stand idly while a usurper claims to be my leader. It is unfortunate that you feel that way. Perhaps I'll be able to change your mind. Stay out of this. This is my fight. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we can't do anything with that. Chani shield, power shield. Alacrity implant, which is probably not bad unless we wanted some. Eh, the. Eh. eh. We can always switch it up if we need it. Oslux gloves. Constitution. Nothing, uh. Nothing can get, that can. Work on energy? Not yet, anyway. So, okay. An Aerotech cardio regulator. Electrical. Not what we're going for. 
It's not necessarily bad, but... Plasma projector. Alright. That might not be bad. For the moment. There's 2 to 24. Fibro sword, yeah. I'm just going... I, mean, I know, I realize I'm going quick, but I'm just looking at top numbers there. Damage numbers. <laughs> Bowcaster, okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a thought. But it has a pretty high roll. The uh, stun thingy. And plasma projector. Okay, no, that's fine. I mean, we've we're, he's on nine, so we've got a long way to go. Plus, we've got some... So we might have to... Okay, we might have to switch weapons. Oh, he is not very tough, is he? Thwap him with the stick! What, what is this I gave him, anyway? A Gan Shock Staff! A good old Gan Shock Staff! We get, if we could give him a Vibro Sword... Does he have two weapon fighting on? We can give it a quick, uh... Feat. Uh, I don't see, oh, dual strike, but I don't see two weapon fighting on here. So it's probably not the best idea. But for the same, you can get the, uh, Vibro Sword. Vibro Cutter and Vibro Blade, not quite as good. Yeah. Vibro Sword might not be a bad idea then. Let's exchange to go. Yeah, no, that wasn't any good. Yeah, yeah okay, that's fine. All right, no, we're good. Just hack him. I and here I was worried, and it's like, okay, he's down. And then, oh, I'll say he glitched out a little bit there for a second. I, it's just nice duck. This guy should go to your training camp, Mandalore, because your boys back at the camp are, are much tougher than this shit. Essek here is just like, I'm not even tough. I've, I've got my hands off the keyboard. I've got my hands off the mouse. It's just like, I can sit back and do absolutely nothing. This is the one time where I think it's balanced to whoever's in the fight. Like, we've talked about the uh, Final Fantasy VIII level balancing thing. desire to spill any more Mandalorian blood today. Gather your clan and return to Duxon. You have seen the last of your mercenary days. Yes, Mandalore. And more influence gained Mandalore. Now that uh, D. Bradley Baker has agreed to go back to... Uh, it does sound a bit like... Uh, D. Bradley Baker is the voice of the, uh, of the clones in all of the uh, various, uh, you know, the various animated series. So, uh, I think I mentioned in the past, I haven't seen much in the way of, uh, of, uh, of the Resistance, but uh, he does voice clones that show up in both Clone Wars and in Rebels, so it does sound a bit like that. I don't know if that is him. Maybe I'd have to go look that up between now and the uh, next episode. Or maybe just look it up and throw it there. If you saw something, then there was an answer. If not, then probably wasn't. I mean, this would have been made after the... Clone Wars animated... The original Clone Wars animated series. That came out in between episodes 2 and 3. And then they did another one. Later on, that is coming back on Disney Plus. In the, I guess, not so distant future. So we picked up Mandalorian friends from here and from, uh, from uh, Narshada. That was it. I'm. It's like I'm thinking. It's in my head. I think it. I just want to pop in, and say hi, and see if anybody, uh, anybody misses me. See he. 
He loves me. As I remember, we put some new folks in charge here. Hello. Oh. You were the one we put in charge, right? I've got nothing more to say to you. Yeah, well. I could slice you in two anytime I wanted, so. I think, uh. I guess there's no one left to have a chat with, then. They're all friendly folks. I mean, I guess there's the droid mechanic who doesn't like us. But we tend to have that effect on people's. Just nobody's quite happy with us, are they? Okay. You can always hop back aboard the Ebon Hawk and have a chat with Mandalore before we take off. I think next time out we'll head off to Korriban. Why do I want to say that at some point I read not too... Not too far in the past that... The, uh... That Georgia changed the name of Korriban in the new canon. Yeah, that happened again, of course it did. Yeah, no, I just want to say half a day, yeah. Like, more a band or something like that. Something to, because it sound, Corriban sounds too similar to Coruscant. Coruscant. I, I, I don't get it myself. But, whatever. I mean, George is the billionaire, not me, so what do I know? I want to have a word with you. That's not a good way to start a conversation, Mandalore. I wanted to make sure that we have some things clear. Right now, we both seek the same goals. Whatever our reasons may be, the Sith must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. To survive, I'll help you. But as Mandalore, I have another duty. The unification of the clans. Um... We're having this conversation a little late, but okay, we'll just let him have this one, alright? Uh, let's see. How do you plan on doing that? Even if you could find them all, would they follow you? Well, I don't know the answer to number one. Two, we found sometimes it's force. And uh, three, if you think I'm gonna... Ah, oh, no, we're already helping him. Wouldn't that be a mind... <laughs> I'm helping you, but if you think I'm going to help you, then you're mistaken. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> um, how do you plan on doing that? Uh, even if you could find them all, would they follow you? After our defeat at Malachor, the survivors spread across the Outer Rim, many taking up work as mercenaries, or worse. But they cannot have fallen so far that they will not recognize a new Mandalore has been chosen. One who will restore our people to glory. I'll fight beside you, but I'm warning you. Don't get in my way. I'm not asking for help. I'm just asking you to let me do this. Cross me, and I might have to reevaluate our arrangements. Um. Well. Is it a threat? Of course it's a threat. Get in my way, it'll be something more. After the Sith are dealt with, you can turn your attention to us. Or maybe we can forge an alliance of our own. Our next battle need not be fought against your Republic. Consider what I've said. Now is there something else you needed? Well, I guess stupid question, stupid answer, I mean, right? <laughs> is it a threat? Of course it's a goddamn threat, you idiot! What's your take on the Republic? How did you become Mandalore? I was wondering if you'd give me some stimulants. Let's see, I, would, I was wondering if you could give me some stimulants. Already gave you my last one. Go easy on them. Even a strong warrior can only take so much. Now is there something else you needed? Just ask John Jones. <laughs> it all ties back. Uh, how did you become Mandalore? Being Mandalore is the greatest honor for our people. Mandalore's helmet is passed from one leader to the next. When Revan executed Mandalore before our eyes, he cast Mandalore's helmet away, denied it to us. He took Mandalore's helmet and left with it. If he hadn't done that, the new Mandalore would have been chosen that day, but without leadership and direction. The clans scattered, fell apart. So all this is over a helmet? No, the helmet is a symbol, you fool! 
How did you find the helmet? Isn't there some other way to become Mandalore? How did you find the helmet? During the Jedi Civil War, I met and traveled with Revan. I was there with him when he defeated Darth Malak, and traveled with him afterwards. Eventually, he told me where he had taken the helmet. He set me upon this path. We can talk about Revan and other things later, if you like. You know enough for now. Now is there something else you needed? I'm surprised that wasn't hidden behind an influence check, but... Then again, this sounds like the follow-up is hidden behind the influence check, so... What's your take on the Republic? I think we've asked that one. Let's go with Nevermind. I just want to try something here. Yeah, what do you want? Aren't you friendly? Okay, maybe, um... Hmm. I would have figured the Revan follow-up would have been in here somewhere. The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. You seem awfully complimentary, Revan, considering you almost destroyed your people. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. Mm. It wasn't fear that kept the Jedi from fighting? I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? Uh, if you're the leader of Mandalorians, I would have thought you'd be tougher than you are. It's just something that, it's gotta be something that gets us to Revan, right? I fought countless battles. Ones most didn't walk away from. The wounds add up. And even the implants are all that keep me going sometimes. I may have been stronger in my youth, and stupider, but now I've got to rely more on my armor, my weapons, and my cunning. Now is there something else you needed? No, maybe not. I was thinking that would be relatively straightforward to get him to where we need, but... Unless there's another influence trigger I gotta hit, maybe there's a... Maybe there's a clan on Korriban, it would make sense. If there is a clan on Korriban that we go to, uh, we can have them join up and then maybe it gets to the next stage or whatever with Mandalore. So we've got to figure that out. But I guess we'll uh, leave that there next time we take off a Korriban. Yay. I was going to say, because I think that's cleaned up most of the side quests. Oh, back up this way. Yeah, the battle circle. I mean, we could always go back and visit Duxon, but eh. And then it's the two lost Jedi ones. Yeah, so we've cleaned up this screen pretty well. It's really just all that's left is the, uh, all that would be left is the, uh, is the Korriban trip. So I guess we'll do that next time on KOTOR 2. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, you can check out more Kotor 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below, and more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.